we finished the Wayfinder trial at Pimlico in London. We got in touch uh, through the us to Sydney studio with uh, Sydney Trains and um, we discussed the opportunity to try Wayfinder in a station in Sydney. We have a passion around building digital products and if we can do so in, in ways that, that really touch and change people's lives, that's what we, we're motivated by. The issues around mobility for vision impaired people within our community is, is a really important issue for us and we want to do our part in terms of trying to solve that. It was great to see the coordination happen between studios and countries to try and solve what is a real global issue. At Sydney Trains we believe that everybody has a right to a safe and positive journey experience and innovations like Wayfinder allow us to achieve that. Ultimately, people who are blind or have a vision impairment are the only people who really, truly understand the challenges that they face. It's very important for us to understand those challenges and to design solutions that meet those challenges. Wayfinder uses our Bluetooth beacons to know exactly where you are, and so we provide a platform uh, that ranges from the physical beacons right up to the software and the cloud platform that allows you to manage a vast network of beacons at scale. But we chose Town Hall because it's a large and complex station. It has multiple entrances and exits. It has multiple platforms situated on different levels. It also has lifts, escalators and stairs. So we wanted to choose some challenging paths. Uh, we ended up installing beacons at entrances and exits, on the concourse, in lift and uh, stairwells, and at the access points to and from uh, platforms three and five. We had 16 vision impaired participants throughout the course of three weeks and we employed what we call a build, measure, learn process where we, we took cycles of development and we took the learnings from one and fed it into the next. Wayfinder was able to direct me to a set of escalators that I wouldn't have been able to find by myself. Um, so it gave me a lot more confidence that I knew where I was going to. I thought it was great. It was uh, an easy to use uh, direction, uh, good clear voice, uh, the instruction was given at appropriate times. I'd use it all the time, it, it's, it's excellent. And particularly if I needed to go to unfamiliar uh, areas, the railway stations that I've never been to before, it would be a big time saver and it would take a lot of stress out of that sort of e um, independent uh, mobilisation and, and doing independent travel. The feedback from our blind and vision impaired customers has been extremely positive. The participants were very, very excited that Sydney Trains is considering utilising technology like this. There's a lot of comments as to when is this going to come out, when can I have this, which is a really positive endorsement of what we're doing. It's about giving vision impaired people the freedom to make those journeys themselves, go off the beaten track, not be dependent on other people to help them. We're really excited to work on a project like this because it means our technology gets to change people's lives on a daily basis. We can't do it alone. If you believe in opening up the world for vision impaired people, please get in touch at wayfinder.net and be a part of the Wayfinder community.